Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you are doing good. Today is 22nd March. This is the second day for the revision of MySQL. So in this video, we are going to study MySQL select command. It is the most important command in MySQL which is used to display the records. We'll get an idea how to use these operators with select command, even how we can do pattern matching that we are going to explore. While displaying the records, we can perform different calculations with select command. And for sorting, we will be using order by clause. Then without wasting much time, let's start this session. Alright then, we know select command is used to retrieve data. Here is the syntax. The keyword select followed by the list of the columns which we need to display. Then we will be writing from table name. If you have condition, you will be mentioning here. It's an optional part. With the use of where clause, we will be displaying the records based on condition. Look at the simple example. Select EMP ID from employee. And here is the list of EMP ID. We mention here only single column name that is getting displayed. If you have more than one column to display, you can separate it by comma. So the specified two columns are getting display first one and this is the second one. If you want to display all the columns of the table then we will be using star. It is also called as all operator. Look at the command select star from employee. All the columns are getting displayed. Let's check out one more important keyword that is distinct. It eliminates duplicate rows. Look at the city column from the employee table. There are duplicate values for Bangalore and Pune. And if you don't want to print duplicate value, you can apply distinct keyword before column name. Now look at the output. Bangalore is getting displayed once even Pune. Now we will be experimenting with the where clause which we are going to use with select command. We know the syntax, the place where we will be writing the where clause. With where clause, we can determine the criteria to display the records. Let's check out how to use relational operators with the WHERE clause. These four operators are same as all the programming languages. We need to only remember this is equals to and not equal to operator. Let's use equal to operator in the first example. Select star from employee means all the records we need to display. Now what's the criteria to display where city should be Bangalore. From the output, it is clear that the records are getting displayed whose city is Bangalore. In the same way, you can use other relational operators. Now let's talk about the logical operators. There are three logical operators and or and the third one is not. I know you are well familiar with the working of these logical operators. It is just like Python programming language. Look at this example. We need to display the records of employee whose city should be Bangalore or Nagpur. It means there are two conditions. How to write query? Select star from employee where city equals to Bangalore or city equals to Nagpur. Concentrate on the field city. You can see records with Bangalore and Nagpur. In case of OR operator, if any one condition is true, then the output will be true. Sometimes the OR operator will be written like this, but meaning is same. Let's talk about one more example. There are two conditions, both should be true. That's why in this scenario, we will be using AND operator. If both the inputs are true, then only the output will be true. Look at the query. Select star from employee where city equals to Pune and salary should be greater than 21,000. From the given records of the table, only one record is satisfying this criteria and it is getting displayed. We understood the usage of relational operators as well as logical operator with select. Now we will be checking out how to use between operator with select command. Between operator is used to select the values from the given range. So we will be opting for the values from the given range. Look at the syntax. Select column names from table name. Till here it is same. It's time to write where clause. Where column name between value 1 and value 2. Here we are creating range. You will understand with this simple example. Select star from employee where employee ID between 101 and 104. Both the limits are inclusive. Look at the records. Employee ID is getting started with 101 and displaying till 104. 
there is a not between operator 2 it is just a reverse of between operator if you don't want to display records within that range then you can use not between operator it's time to check out the usage of one more category of operators that is in and not in along with select statement if there is a given list of values and you need to match any value from the given list we will be using in operator here is the syntax Look at the WHERE clause where column name in and in brackets we are providing the list of the values. Let's try to write one query based on it. Select star from employee where city in Pune and Nagpur. In bracket there are two values. So city can be Pune or Bangalore. If we look at the records all those records are getting displayed where city is Pune or Bangalore. The reverse of in is not in. If you don't want to match from the given list of the values, we will be using not in. The same example we are trying with not in. Now look at the records. We are not getting these cities record. One more important concept we are going to study that is pattern matching with select command. If we have specific pattern to be matched that we can do with the pattern matching using some operators. For pattern matching we are using like operator. With like operator we will be using two character. First is percent. It matches one or more character. And the second is underscore. It matches single character. Look at the first example. J A percent means the first two characters will be J A. After that it can be any number of character. If we have string like this it will get matched. Even this also is getting matched. As the first two characters are J, A and the remaining can be anything. These characters we can add as many times as we want. Look at the second example. Here we have added the percent symbol two times in the beginning and at the end. It means in the beginning of the string you can have any number of characters but at the center these two characters should be there followed by again any number of character. Look at this matching string. Now let's see some of the examples for underscore. Underscore is used for matching single character, right? So the three underscore means we need string with three characters. You can get this type of strings. Look at the second example for underscore. The first character should be T. At the center you can have anything and at last you have A. So the string like this will get matched with this pattern. Hope you understood pattern matching. It's easy. In this way, we studied lot of operators which we can use with select command like relational operators, logical operators, between, not between operators, in, not in operators and even pattern matching with like operator. Now we will be discussing how to perform simple calculations with select command. If you want to perform some calculation that can be done along with the field name. For that we will be using arithmetic operator. Look at this example. We are providing bonus to the employees which is 20% of salary. 20% means 20 divided by 100. So it will be 0 0.20. Look at the column header. It will display as it is specified here. If you want to rename and give it a meaningful name you can do with as keyword. Now this makes sense. Proceeding to one more important option that we will be dealing with select command that is handling null. If you have some null values in a column and that you want to list that you can do with is null with the where clause. Look at this query select star from employee where city is null. From the output it is clear that all those records are getting displayed where city is null. The reverse of is null is is not null. If you don't want to display those records where you have null values in the field. So the query will look like this. Select star from employee where city is not null. Let's check out the output. City with null is not getting displayed. In case you want to sort the records for that we will be using order by clause. We can arrange the record in the ascending order means smaller to bigger value or in the descending order from bigger to lower value. For that we will be using order by clause. By default the sorting will be in the ascending order. 
if you want to sort in the descending order we will be using desc clause look at the syntax select column name from table where condition till here the query is same followed by that we will be writing order by clause and on which column you need to do ordering that we will be mentioning here let's discuss one simple example here is the query select star from emp order by employee name look at the employee name column the records with a alphabet got printed first in the same way the alphabetical order is getting followed now let's display the record in the descending order that too based on emp id all right then the query looks like this select star from employee order by emp id add this desc clause for the descending order look at the employee id column 101 is getting displayed first then 107 in the same way other records are getting displayed in the descending order hey that's a wrap for today's video in this video we understood lot of options that we can do with select command hope you understood all the concept in case of any doubt let me know in the comments in the next video we will be covering two important concept that is group by clause and joins So until next time stay confident keep studying all the very best for your preparations i will see you in the next video